Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Now this is a little, this is quite interesting for me, following up from the Cara Cara video, um, where the plant was heavily infested in my summer house over winter by aphids. This one we're looking at here, which is another horror story, is actually a blood orange. Um, a sanguine, this is actually sanguinelli. Now I'm wondering if my theory that the sweeter fruited citrus uh, perhaps have a sweeter sap going through them or the leaves are sweeter as well as the fruits, um, perhaps that's why the aphid fest infestations seem to be particularly bad on the orange varieties that have been in there. Um, certainly, as I said, this, this blood orange or sanguinelli is absolutely covered i mean they're sucking the life out of the plant you can <laughs> these are meant to be flowers trying to come through here and you can't even see the flower buds for aphids so there's a lot of sticky sticky sap on the leaves and as you can see that's also caused some uh well you can probably see it's causing sooty mold on some of the leaves you can see quite a lot of mold on them there um, but i'm fairly sure that once i've given this a good washing off with um the soapy water that I'm using, which is dishing, uh, uh, washing up liquid with some, uh, and I'm adding a little bit of uh, isopropanol to it, pure alcohol. I think the mixture of the two will pretty much get rid of all of the aphids, and I can pretty much wash the mildew off with my fingers and soapy water as well. If they need spraying at a later stage, repeat spraying, I will. But I think now the plants are coming outside probably the aphids won't be so much of a problem but um, I'm gonna put the uh, I won't actually film myself doing this because there's so much work to do I need both hands but um, I just thought I'd show you just how bad the infestation is on this plant and I might come back to it after I've given it a wash off so I'll probably pause the video and see what the end result is like So here we are back again. Um, I couldn't uh, I couldn't film the whole process. It's taken me about 15, 20 minutes to get this devoid of virtually all the aphids, and I've managed to wash out most of that powdery mildew on the leaves and sticky stuff washed off as well. Um, I've probably got rid of about 99% of the aphids, and even the mould on the leaves that was a little bit there but that, that literally is just drying off now. And I think that if this is left outside, probably most of those aphids will have vanished. Now, just a little uh, out of interest in the bottom of the pot there, for anyone curious, I've got two date palm, uh, date seedlings. Now they've survived in the greenhouse without any issues as well. Now, I think if I remember rightly, um, a year or so back, we had some medjool dates I bought just after Christmas and rather than plant them uh, specifically I just thought it'd be fun to uh, poke them in a pot which sometimes works better for seedlings and trying to germinate them on their own and sure enough uh, the two date seeds that I poked in this pot came up about three or four months later so I've now got a couple of uh, date seedlings so I'm not going to disturb them what I'll do is leave them in here and then when, when eventually the plant is due for repotting which might well be uh, I might repot it this summer. I'll carefully tease out the date seedlings of that time and put them in their own pots. So, um, and despite the smothering of, uh, despite the smothering of aphids, there are actually a couple of flower buds starting to appear on it, and it's even got a couple of um, flowers that seem to have set oranges. Incredibly, I mean, I would have expected these to. Uh, come off with all the aphids but perhaps not um, still I think in the next month or so it'll grow, start growing very well and I'm hoping to be able to leave it outside for the rest of the summer and we won't get any more cold spells so uh, again thanks for watching that's my um, sanguinello blood orange much appreciate it uh, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel you can share the video if you want excuse the uh, people next door screaming at their dog if you can hear them and remember to click on the bell if you'd like to get updates on new videos as they come out which will of course include this blood orange i'll catch up with you on the next video brett out for now <laughs>